Hi, I'm Eddie. And I'm Cindy. And this is Squeeze the Day. If you're wondering why this house looks familiar, it might be because that is where Texas Chainsaw Massacre was filmed, inside of that house. We're gonna go in. It's actually a restaurant now, so we're gonna go and get some food and you're gonna join us. And we'll tell you a little bit more about what we're doing in this area. Come on. Right now, it's called the Grand Central Cafe and Club Car Lounge. It's the house that was originally the stage for Texas Chainsaw Massacre. In the back, there is a hallway that goes to the bar area. It also includes restroom area. And there's a kitchen right there on the left. Anybody that has seen the original movie knows what is upstairs. Don't go upstairs. It is a full-fledged restaurant now. Does any of it look familiar to you? You can actually eat in any one of the rooms that's available. I kind of feel this picture makes it look really classy. I did warn you, don't go upstairs. Anybody who wants to be brave, you know what's good for you. Just kidding. This is another dining area. Personally, one of my favorites. Really good spot, very quiet. And those chairs are so comfortable. And you don't actually have to be a fan of the movies to eat here. The food is really good, but we'll talk more about that later. But anybody who is a fan definitely needs to check out some of the photos that they have available for you to look at. Second restroom available upstairs as well. And more pictures for you to peruse and enjoy. We had come to visit right after Christmas, so they still had some decorations up. Kind of takes away from the scary feel. Unless, of course, Christmas is your scary feel. But who am I to judge? All right, let's go back downstairs so we can get some food. And just in case anybody's wondering, it is actual real food that they serve here, normal food. We'll show you that a little bit more in a minute. Um, but it's really quite good too and the films are a little bit scary so not recommended for children this on the other hand is a good place to bring a family and eat do you hear those realistic sounds you hear in the background of a working restaurant you can sit here and enjoy some of these amazing photos that were taken during the shooting process while you're listening to that and waiting for your table or get here early enough that you can actually walk around like we did and take a look for yourself. So a little background on the uh, Texas Chainsaw Massacres. There's several movies out there. The original was 1974, if I remember correctly. Um, the 1974 Texas Chainsaw Massacre was filmed in the house that we're in right now. So we should do a little bit of that. Um, Which I haven't seen. I don't really watch horror movies, but Eddie said he saw, I saw a good some part of, of it. it. Yeah. Um, Really good slasher fit, flick, um, and once again, there's several of them, so it continues to go put more and more out there. And I think there's another one coming up in 2021, something to look into if you're into foreign <laughs> movies.
right, folks, thank you for joining us. The food here is good. We didn't really talk a whole lot about that. It's gonna be a short uh, vlog. We just wanted to highlight this a little bit because it's pretty cool. Been in the original um, Chainsaw Massacre house. Um, pretty cool house. They do have some stuff upstairs, which we showed you a little bit of. So you should definitely, if you're in the area, or if you're not in the area, come out this way just to visit it. But come on by, check it out. If you like the video, make sure you hit the like button, subscribe, and ring the bell for notifications. Be sure to squeeze those days. Thanks, guys. Good night.